welcome to the Thamesman 2. The Thamesman 2, Channel 2. How are you doing, George? I'm very well, thank you very much. I'm uh, looking forward to, to this little ditty we've got coming up in a minute. But before we do, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm Alex. I'm up in San Francisco. Channel 2 is our sister, si our sister, pro our sister channel to Tensman 1, which is our main reaction channel. But this channel, we have the privilege of choosing tracks ourselves. And that's why we've locked ourselves into, in the, the, basement. Basement of, into the basement of despair. And, and and this one, I'm pushing the limits of uh, bad choices, to be honest with you, because oh god, <laughs> I was thinking oh, god. when we have a playlist, maybe we should have one which is just called George's bad choices, one called Alex's bad choices, and um, we'll see which one gets the most views or least views. How about no, that? We don't have to do that. We can see which videos get the most views. <laughs> Your videos are shite. Not always, not always. But okay, I I I, I look for things which are a bit different. That's all out there so anyway this is a band that a lot of you will have never have heard of because oh surprise surprise on that one <laughs> you know what i mean why have we never heard of them and let me think are they because they're so unbelievably good at their instruments is it they are so good song craft crafters or uh is it see they're shit <laughs> <laughs> let me let me tell you a tale of a band formed in england in 2008 who focused their music around steampunk. So you talked about post-punk. We're now talking steampunk here. This is steampunk, uh, kind of a bit of, bit of punk, steampunk, grindcore kind of music. Uh, it's a two-minute pop song, a uh, punk song, this one. It's, 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 but they, they base their songs around the Victorian era, and, and they use this... <laughs> <laughs> oh my George, if you put all these ingredients in the cake, you know what you're gonna end up with. It's awesome. Trust me, just bear with me for this. Right. It, you know what, George? You know what? I I've think I do this. I've do no, I've been doing a lot of meditation recently. And it's all about living in the present and accepting this. So, George, you've got a clean slate. <laughs> you said trust you. I will trust you. You said it's awesome. It is it should be awesome. If it's not awesome, you're off the channel. <laughs> it's again it's, it, but it, the interesting thing okay so the band is called the men that will not be blamed for nothing which is an oh, interesting name to start with oh right. and now that is just like can you they're in that they're in they're all sitting room and one of them go i oh, know <laughs> that's doing around steampunk in victorian era and the other one it came up with goes let's call it the men who will not be blamed for nothing and they went brilliant do you know why it's called that um, because something to do with the building of the bridges. Uh, no, no the, the, the men that will be not blamed for nothing. I'm going to read this so I get it right. Uh, the reference is, is some, to some graffiti that was discovered above a section of bloodstained apron thought to have been discarded by Jack the Ripper. How cool is that? <laughs> Did I ever tell you? This is absolutely <laughs> true. This is absolutely true. You know when I lived in Whitechapel? Yeah, yeah. And you know, I lived at the top of that school building. Yeah. Did you ever go there? That no, I don't think I ever went there. Uh, it was a, a beautiful old, really, it was an old converted school. It was in the middle of Whitechapel, and Jack the Ripper did his murder, one of his murders. Long, tall Sally, I think it was. And she was only about four foot nothing, but she was tall for those days. And she was murdered at the bottom of our building. So every Sunday morning, I'd be in bed and, uh, you know, I'd be really hungover. And the guy tour would come around and he would say, oh, this is where Long Tall Sally would murder. Right? So after about the third or fourth time, I'd be going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> every Sunday. So I did this for about a month and I was really looking forward to my death curling gurgles. And on the, like the fifth week, I could just hear it. He'd moved the tour party to another building further away. And I was like, this is where she was murdered. So I know, he actually just bullshitted the tourists and moved them away so they didn't have to have my theatrical reenactment. Ah, uh, that's brilliant. That's awesome. Yeah. I know everything about Long Tall Sally. She was only, she really was. She was only about four foot nothing. Okay. But well, anyway, fact, so so this is you see, this is a link. This is a link, you see. And this so this is part of that Victorian era of mystery and, and steampunk. Uh and but the song, the song is called Brunel. And it's about English hero, yeah. Isambard yeah. Kingdom Brunel, and who has a link to the Thames and the Thames men. He does. 
Yes. Because he built the Great Western Railway and all those bridges all that go bridges. through Goring. And all anyone who doesn't know who is in Garden can talk to Bruno. You'll find out in this song because it's got a great informative video that goes with it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Because basically he just designed everything. Every, okay. All right. Okay. He is an English hero. That did he die? Who didn't die in the Arctic? <laughs> did, he, did he die on a job? Because most English heroes did die doing oh, their job. And I think he actually, he was actually a Victorian hero. I think it was the last one we had, probably. So, yeah. Really? Probably the last anyway, one. Anyway, enough of this. I mean, we this song's only two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can fit in another one by them afterwards, if we have time. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you ready? Bit of steampunk. I, I don't know if I am ready, to be honest. Don't, trust me. All right. Are you, are you lined up? Yeah. Two minutes of steampunk perfection. Three, two... One, go. Standing in the Thames, rather I'm wondering how to get to the other side. But up pops a bloke with a stovepipe hat. I'll do your channel under that. I looked him up and down and then replied, yeah, lot men tried, lot men died. Yeah, well, I'm not a lot of men. So he built me a tunnel and he built it well. He was his about kingdom. Over that. Well, I looked him up and down and then replied, Yeah, lot men tried, but a lot men died. Yeah, well, I'm not a lot of men. So he built me a bridge and he built it well. He was his above kingdom. Blue now, he built me a bridge and he built it well. It's a bar, it's a bar, it's a bar, it's a bar. Not a lot of men. So he built me a steamship and he built it well. He was his above kingdom. Through now, he built me a steamship and he built it well. He's a bard, he's a bard, he's a bard, he's a bard, he's a bard kingdom. Through now, he's a bard kingdom. Through now, he's a bard kingdom. Through now, he built me a steamship and he built it well. Oh, you know what? You're like that trendy history teacher. You know, that brings the guitar into the into the class, who used to be in a punk band, but now teaches history to 15-year-olds. And he's written a song. Did Wasn't it brilliant, though? Wasn't it a perfect actually, steampunk? It, two it, it actually was informative and fun. <laughs> and fun, exactly. It's not... Yeah. And now, now, if anyone would like to hear any more of the band... They've got some other great tracks which are a bit more allegorical about today's society, but based in the Victorian era. So that's kind of interesting. Well, <laughs> I've left you speechless. Brilliant. A lot of men tried, a lot of men died. A lot of men died. <laughs> I like that line. Um, yeah. That... <laughs> oh, I bet you weren't expecting that one. <sighs> no, I really wasn't expecting a. Um steampunk version of a Victorian <laughs> engineering hero to be on this channel and a two-minute wonder. Where else would we put it? I mean, this is what this channel is for. Well, thank you for that, George. Um, <laughs> so so please, you... If, you, if, you, if you like it, like, and, and, some, and if we get 100 likes, we could move the men that will not be blamed for nothing up to channel A. So wouldn't that be awesome? So come on, 100 likes. Give me 100 likes and we'll move it up. We're in our main channel. How did you find this? You in an adult history adult lesson. No, I, 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 it's our friend Ben. He recommended it. He gave me a list of, of interesting punk songs from England one day, and it was on it. So, old oh, Ben, old oh, Ben in Oxford. Our friend Ben. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So, Ben, yeah. you still got bad taste in music. <laughs> you always did. You always have. You always will. Oh, well, that's mean. He's got. He's got his. I know. I used to do alternative kidding, disco. Ben. I hope you're doing well, Ben. I, I, and I tell you. Ben was the person who, you know, we did, we did Spaceman 3 Revolution. He was the guy who yeah. introduced me to Spaceman 3 Revolution. So oh, he... Yeah. All right. Anyway, take care, Ben. Excellent. All right. So, banger or wanger? 
Wanga. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's a banger because I chose it. What what sort of banger? You know, like a chipolata. It's not a huge banger, you know. (laughs) It's a pocket dog. The pocket dog, mini dog. Yeah, Yeah, like Slim slim Jim. Slim Jim. Yeah, all right. Because of Ben, I'll give him a a small wanger. (laughs) Not in a biblical way. Uh Excellent. All right. Thanks. Well, which playlist? Which playlist? Which playlist are we putting this on? Good night, George. <laughs> Which playlist is this? Uh, no, not, not on any fucking playlist. Uh, <laughs> Are you on the flip side? I'm going to finish this. 